Today we're talking about the Bach Prelude in C major. Everybody should learn this piece sooner or later in their piano career. There are so many different ways that you can play this piece. There are so many different ways that it's been played and performed. Let's talk about some of them. Slowly and lyrically and beautifully. Energetic and fast. Doesn't matter how you play it, there are some other aspects in the piece that we need to pay attention to. When Bach wrote it, he didn't have any dynamics to put in because his instruments didn't have dynamics. Should we play it with dynamics? F yeah. If Bach could have used dynamics, he definitely would have. This piece has the same rhythm going through it the entire time. It's our duty to make each one a little bit different, a little bit special. So it doesn't get boring. This piece can be incredibly boring when Pianists who aren't ready or, 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 or aren't thinking about it in the right way play it. it can be a very monotonous listening experience for all of those involved. To hold or not to hold? To pedal or not to pedal? Bach didn't have pedal either. Do we pedal this? It makes it sound really pretty when we do. If you don't pedal it, you have to hold down with your, with your fingers. First four measures always has a nice crescendo. Then you get a nice call and answer sort of thing, forte piano, forte piano. And all of this is just kind of a soft sort of transformation that's happening, descent down to your low point. This is kind of the lowest part of the piece, perhaps. It's down this now. Um, and then you have a huge crescendo ascent back up to the ending here. Usually people like to be probably the loudest here. Nice big dramatic ending as Bach does, ending with the Picardy third. Hey, we're going to heaven. Let's do it.